Hello, committee. My name is Kerry Tarasoff. Thank you for allowing me to present today. I have some concerns about uh, the BRT plan, specifically for the BRT stop on First Avenue by the new proposed arena. But starting off, we need to always consider what the original plan started with. And in our case, that's the city center plan. And it called that First Avenue would be a thoroughfare for transportation link out. And that also required that we would have two driving lanes in each direction, a parking lane on each side, and a center turning lane. Those lanes should be maintained to some degree in all the plans that follow. And yet the BRT dramatically wants to change that. I want you to understand as well that I have presented my ideas to the bus riders of Saskatoon, and I believe they concur because it's my understanding that they're taking them up with the city. So you should be aware of that. And hopefully this will help you understand why there's changes needed. This is the proposed new arena site and overlaid on that is where your current position is for the BRT platform. This is the one point where all of the BRT routes converge. What's important about this is that you're expecting a majority of the people to cross the street once over First Ave, across again to the middle of the platform, and then go down the platform, which is just a sidewalk with a curb on it. And they're going to sit there on this three meter wide platform, 132 feet long, and wait for buses to come. But they won't know which bus is coming next, and they won't know which bus is going to be at what position because they end load. So whatever the next bus is that happens to arrive is going to be the one that pulls in next. And there won't be a predetermined location for that because they come in from the end and then they have to wait for the bus in front of them before they can even leave. So they're restricted by each other's activity. There's a certain amount of time it takes to load buses too, and it depends on the size of them. So the small buses take roughly three minutes, optimistically, especially if people are in winter clothing trying to get in. And the bigger buses will take about six minutes. The problem is it's a 10 minute interval for BRT. And at this one point, you've got three buses coming in, three buses going out. So technically each bus has only got just over three minutes. And uh, that's optimistic. And then you don't know which bus is gonna be where. So you're on this narrow platform. People are still trying to push on because they don't know it's completely full. So the, you've got all these people on the sidewalks trying to get on there. The buses still load from the front door. You have to remember this is not like a subway where the doors open all the way down and everybody can just come on and go off. No, no, no. The people that load these buses have to load from the front door. So all the restriction of that funnel is still there. So we've created multiple funnels now. We're, we've created a funnel to cross 23rd Street. Then we've created another funnel to cross to the middle of the platform. Then we're f pushing people through the platform. And then there's a funnel because they have to get into the front of the bus. If you're sitting at the end of the platform down here and it turns in your green buses down here, you've got a whole platform full of people you got to push through to try to even get to your bus in time to get on. So there's just a whole bunch of restrictions on this bottleneck. And again, you've taken three driving lanes out. It's a problematic system. And so I think there's a better way. The idea is on 22nd Street, you come on and you park to the side like a normal bus would. People have the chance to get on and off from a sidewalk, which is safer. And they know exactly we can paint. This is a blue zone. This is a red zone. This is a green zone. And so when a bus comes in, if they come in first or they come in last, they can still go into their own spot and they can leave when they're full. So these buses can wait because they don't have to sequentially come in after each other. So that should mean that these large buses can be completely full before they leave. They're not restricted by time. And it's a safer way. We keep all of our driving lanes and every bus will come in loaded and leave fully loaded. And people will predeterminedly know where that they can load from. And half of the people will not even cross the street. They'll get unload here onto the sidewalk and straight into the into the arena. When they leave, they'll cross the street once, but then the other side won't cross at all. So we're removing half of the traffic that would need to cross the street multiple times just to get to a bus. I think this needs to be heavily considered, and uh, I thank you for the opportunity.